All right, so Cat 8 cable. Could that make much of a difference? Right now I'm using a Cat 6 setup. A 50 foot long Cat 6 uh, from the router to my computer and I'm using a Cat 6 from the router to the modem. I also have the built-in Wi-Fi, um, which you know seems to be not too too far off of the speed of this Cat 6 cable, but I thought, you know, what better way of uh, finding out than just to run some tests? So, you know, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be connecting this Cat 8 cable and trying to get down to the bottom of is it is it really gonna make that much of a difference? Um, so I'm gonna run a series of tests um, on the top five different uh, speed testing websites. We're gonna run it three times on each one for Wi-Fi, for the built-in Wi-Fi that came with the motherboard. Um, we're gonna run it three times each with the uh, Cat6 setup, and then we're gonna replace both Cat6 cables with Cat8, so Cat8 from the modem to the router, and then Cat8 from the router to the computer. We're gonna see what we get. Um, now, keep in mind one thing, these speeds are nowhere near gigabit. So the fact that I'm paying for it is strictly for the upload really in the amount of devices I have in my home. It's pretty embarrassing. Um, but you know, you'll, you'll get to see if there's really a difference or not. And that's kind of the main thing we're looking at here. So um, we're gonna go ahead and start a slide that I've created of the tests and I'll go ahead and make myself disappear. So what is best? We've got the Wi-Fi, Cat6, and Cat8. The first test that I ran was on the Wi-Fi. Now this came in the Hero 7 uh, Asus motherboard that I have. So, you know, you can you can see that my download speeds are, you know, nowhere near a gig. Upload speeds, you know, I was told I was supposed to get somewhere around 40. Um, you know, I'm averaging it at fast.com uh, and speedtest.net in the 30s so you know nowhere close you know the final numbers there at the bottom you know so you're looking at the total average of 81.95 uh for the download 23.53 for the upload and a ping of around 25 which is actually pretty good because you know really anything under 50 is considered good and uh, you know i haven't had any problems gaming with this um so then you know i went ahead and tested that and went over into the cat 6 uh setup you can see that the numbers are a little bit better here like the downloads went up a little bit, the ping went down a little bit, and the upload even went up a little bit, but still nothing remarkable, you know. Now I contribute some of this to the fact that we're using a 50 foot cable and I have, you know, 14 or 15 devices connected through my router. So I didn't expect anything great, but still kind of aggravating to be paying, you know, promotional price or not, but to be paying for gigabit speeds and not getting anywhere near it. And so then I, you know, I ordered these, um, Cat 8 cables, and I'll link uh, the Amazon uh, links on here when I'm done. But um, I ordered these two Cat 8 cables and connected them, and this is what I got. Now, keep in mind, still, you know, nowhere near the gig, but what was interesting, um, and some of the max download speeds were right up there near a the gig, but it's just not showing. I didn't show that. I'm, you know, I'm using average, but you can see a, a drastic difference in the download. And you can see a, a difference in the upload as well. So both of those went way up. The ping, um, the ping got worse, um, worse latency. But I think that that could be partially due to the fact that we we're talking about an even longer cable. And when I was reading about Cat8, I did see where, you know, length was a a problem with with the highest of transfer speeds. But I was hoping with that 2,000 megahertz speed, I, I thought maybe there would be a difference in latency there. Um, it doesn't seem like that happened, but still, you know, well within the, you know, good for gaming uh, spectrum. And then I just kind of compared everything at the end. So here's your final numbers. You can kind of see the breakdown. Um, you know, the the download speeds were 292 megabits per second better than Wi-Fi. 277 megabits per second better than Cat6. So it's pretty, pretty huge jump. You know, it's uh, got a 16 megabits per second, almost 17, uh, lead over the Wi-Fi on upload. And, you know, a modest, but still something, six megabits per second leap over the Cat 6. So those are, that is real numbers there.